Hello everybody, welcome back to another Gorilla Tag Fine Games tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to add map loaders, music uh, changers. But before we, I do teach you how to do that, I'm going to say something. My mic is really glitchy in this video. It sounds like a robot like Stephen Hawking, but just accept it. Welcome back to another Gorilla Tag Fine Games tutorial. Here's a really fast tutorial for map, map loaders and uh, whatever you call it, music changers. So the first thing we need to do is your whole map. So this is my map layout. So my map all my obstacles inside my map so everything my speaker my trees my mirror my barriers we're gonna put these all into one big group and just call this I'm just gonna say it's my forest so put your whole map into one group and call it forest so then my whole maps in one if I just click this it's my whole map now I'm just gonna copy this map for my example for my map loaders because I am too lazy to make a whole another map and this is just a tutorial game so I don't have to go all at it. The copy's on over. Okay, so basically this is what I've left I'm ending up with. So now we've got forest and then forest one. I'm just gonna rename this to like caves or something, for example. Let's just say this map was a caves map. And then I'll I'll change the grind texture to be something like stone. So it actually looks like you're in a cave because I don't I wanna make this as less confusing as possible. Stone material on the floor. All these can be changed to stone. First thing you're gonna wanna do is here we're gonna be making a tunnel, so I'm just gonna copy this so the thing's the exact height it needs to be. I just make like a wee tunnel wall. A tunnel like wall thingy. You want to make sure you get these the perfect size, by the way, so they don't clip over anything. So, like, on both sides, they don't clip. Yep, they aren't clip. In fact, that it would work. Okay, now that that is completed, what you need to do next is I'm going to... Actually, I'll make... I'll copy this base plate. I'm going to make it a smaller one that just stays here, so then that hole isn't open. Because we don't want that. These are going to actually act as our map loader. So see this wee block you're putting down here? This will act as your map loader. So you need to make two of these actually. One to load in this map and one to load in the other map. So keep this here. And make like a secondary one like that. You oh no, I, there is like a, a thing. Like a hole at the top. So I'm just going to copy one of these things off the ground. You can cover up this hole any way you want. I'm not going to call this a map loader button, I'm going to call it a uh, buh, 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 buh. roof. Also, okay, you just want to make sure your whole tunnel, see like everything in your tunnel, make sure it is not in any of your maps. Make sure it's in, like, as you can see here, forest and here's caves, make sure your whole tunnel is not in any of your maps. I'm going to put all this tunnel into one group create empty parent and I'm going to rename it to tunnel so as you can see I've got forest caves and a tunnel now what you need to do is go into the link in the description click on the first link and then copy it just copy everything like copy all that script go, go right click hit create do a C sharp script and name this enable spell exactly like this Make sure it's a capital E, spell enable, and hit enter. Now just wait for this to load. Once it's done loading, in your top right corner of your screen, it says open. Just click open. Once your enable script file boots up, it once your enable script opens up, it will look a little something like this. Just make sure up in this top left corner, it still says enable, spell like this. Okay, now what you want to do is hit control A, so it will copy all of this old text and hit delete. This is just the auto text that it gives you. You don't want it. Just delete it. And copy in the enable script that is in my description. It will be the first one. If not, it's okay. And make sure everything was copied over correctly. There is no extra lines because that can break your script. Okay, and if you want to know how, like, if this is the right script, you can see here it says public class enable. That's, that's basically just saying the script name, so as long as that's enabled and it's spelt the same way as it's spelt up here, just hit this little save button, left click it, it will show green here, and then you can clo close it to that. So, now you need to go into the second link in my description and copy the disable script. Also, after you put in your enable script, it should load something like this, it's not going to do anything, it's okay, it's just loading all your scripts. Right, once you've copied the disable script, go right click, hit create, 
C sharp script, call this disable with a capital D at the start. Spell exactly as it's spelled down here, or it won't work, and then just open it in the top right corner. It's going to open another uh, Microsoft, no, another Visual Studio file. It's going to open another Visual Studio thing, but as long as it says disable up here, you did it right. Right, hit Control A, delete, and then Control V. As you can see, this is our disable script. Just hit the save button up here and close out of this. Now we've got all the scripts we need to do everything in today's video, which is going to be how you may add music changers and how you add map loaders. So in between these two maps, I have a tunnel. It's really easy. Uh, and then there's these two. And then make here if I let you, if I were to get rid of these real quick. Hold on. There's nothing underneath these. So make two platforms, okay? So on this first platform, you want to drag in your script, drag in an enable and a disable script. I already have them, but once you're done that, you want to set. Since this is my forest map, we're gonna do. Make sure on the enable script it's on forest and the disable script it's on your other map that's at the other side. And then do the same on this but make it opposite so the enable script is caves and the disable script is forest. I didn't explain that very well but you should be able to just tweak around with it. So basically this means when we stand on this button uh, it will do... When we stand on this button everything will stay the same but when we stand on this button this map's going to actually spawn in. This map's going to disable. Now, if we actually want this to work, we have to click on caves and hit this wee button here, or whatever map you have. And for the music loader tutorial, before we test this, just make inside of your inside of your maps. You just want to make so inside of my cave maps, I have a speaker right here. Just make an audio source inside of an object. Put in your audio into it and add that to your map. I have one for caves and I have one in my forest map. Just make sure they're both inside of one big thing. And then once you're done that. You literally go onto your caves map and disable it. Okay, next thing you want to do is go to Gorilla Rig, Gorilla Player, and then go to your left hand and right hand controllers. Add a sphere collider. Set the radius on the sphere collider to 0 0.05. And make sure both of your controllers have a different layer. And it doesn't, it literally doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't matter what the layers are called, just make sure they're different. I will teach you how to make a layer right now, so you want to click here, hit add layer, then you can type in, like, hello. And then, if I go back to my left hand, if I go to my layers, there's one called hello. So, as long as you make two different layers and set the right hand and left hand controller to be different layers, that should work. If there's any confusion for this tutorial, DM me on Discord, I'll put it on screen now. Okay, make sure on the buttons you have for your map loaders that have the enable and disable scripts on their box colliders you have is trigger on. Okay, it's that's trigger. everything you need to know for this Gorilla Tech fan game tutorial for music changers and map loaders. Make sure to check out my next tutorial which is going to be how to make cosmetics including holdables and yeah.